guys, hope you had a great spring break. So here's a book I got at the book fair um, a couple weeks ago and maybe some of you guys got it too. Uh, so this one is called Potato Pants by Lori Keller. Here it says, yeah, she created the book, but it was I, Tuberto, who created the pants. Potato is excited. That's why he's doing the robot. I call it the po-bot because I'm a potato. He's excited because today, for one day only, Lance Vance's fancy pants store is selling. Potato pants! Eee! Potato knows every tater in town will want a pair, so he's there early because, like the sign says, once they're gone, they're gone. I want a stripy pair just like the ones in the window, with stripy suspenders and added for added stripiness. A lot of potatoes. What's this? Potato is upset? That's why he stopped doing the robot. He's upset about the eggplant who just walked into Lance Vance's fancy pants store. What's he doing here? Eggplants don't even wear pants. Yesterday was eggplant pants day. Potato won't go into Lance Vance's fancy pants store now because of that eggplant. That eggplant is nothing but trouble. Yesterday I was walking along minding my own potato -y business when he ran by and pushed me right into a trash can. Out of my way. If he sees me in Lance Vance's fancy pants store, he'll push me again. And he's gonna run my brand new potato pants. Not run, ruin, sorry. Poor potato, it's not easy for him to watch all the other potatoes walk by in their new potato pants. I love my new potato pants. We love ours too. Mine have polka dots and ruffles. Mine have big pockets. Mine are kind of scratchy. I may need some potato underpants. Potato is losing his patience waiting for that eggplant to leave Lance Vance's fancy pants store. What's taking him so long? And if yesterday was eggplant pants day, why is he here on potato pants day? Potato pants day, that's ridiculous. Potatoes didn't even wear pants. It's not ridiculous, grocery store lady. Ooh, the grocery store. They have potatoes, maybe they've got potato pants too. What a clever potato. He figured out a way to avoid that eggplant and still get his potato pants. Hello, grocery store, do you have any potato pants? Potato pants? Yeah, yeah, I know, pants that are made for potatoes. We don't have potato pants. Well, maybe in your store you call them something more like spud slacks, tater trousers, yam champs. Do any of those ring a bell? Heck, I could probably squeeze myself into a pair of computer, com computer cucumber cords if I had to. Do you have any cucumber cords? Sorry, sir, no clothing here, just food. Potato is not giving up. He's sure that there's a way to get potato pants without having to face that eggplant. Think, think, think. Don't panic, I still have time. Actually, you don't have much time. There's only one pair of potato pants left on the rack. Only one pair of potato pants left on the rack? What will potato do now? Potato pants, out of my way. Only one pair left. What a brave potato. He's not going to let that eggplant stop him from getting the last pair of potato pants on the rack. Bam! Potato pants! Where are they? I need potato pants. Yikes. Potato may be in for more trouble than he bargained for after that entrance. Oh no. Potato is too late. Where are they? Sorry, I got the last pair on the rack. Okay. Okay. Potato, let's take a moment here. Come on, deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. That's it. Think of the puppy clouds. Inhale, exhale. Oh, forget it. This is exhausting. Let it out, potato. That eggplant ruined everything. It's his fault, and I didn't get potato pants. He has a brand new perfect eggplant pants, but I'm totally pantless. It's not fair. Actually, his eggplant pants aren't perfect anymore. You hit him with the door, and they ripped all the way to the back. You can see for yourself, he come, here he comes. Oh, Potato, it's been nice knowing you. Uh-oh. I've been looking for you, Spud. Potato is scared. If he had potato boots, he'd be shaking in them. I came back here to do what I should have done yesterday. What? Turn me into 
mashed potatoes here to apologize. I'm sorry I pushed you. I was in a hurry to get these eggplant pants. I hope you'll forgive me. What? He's not turning me into mashed potatoes? Potato is shocked. His starchy little head is spinning. Forgive him? Why should I forgive him? He pushed me into a trash can. Er, but I did rip his pants, his new eggplant pants. Oh, I don't know what to do. So will Potato forgive that eggplant or not? What do you think he should do? I forgive you, eggplant. And I'm sorry for ruining your new eggplant pants. Excuse me, we can fix your eggplant pants and they'll be as good as new. When the sale is over, you can have your potato pants on the mannequin in the window. Do you like those? Like them? I love them! Now that's one stripy potato. Potato's favorite thing about his new potato pants, besides their strappy stri stripiness, is that they also make great robot pants. Pobot pants. Eggbot pants. The end. I hope you like that book. You'll see me again very soon um, and have a great couple of days um, until Wednesday and we start online school. Also, happy birthday, JJ. I wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. I hope you're having a great time at home uh, celebrating with your family and having a great day today. Right, bye, guys. Love you bunches. Mwah. So this is my cat. His name is Peaches. He's being a little shy right now. Um, and very tired. He likes to sleep a lot, like cats often do. <laughs>